And we begin tonight with video of a gunman opening fire inside a Brockton restaurant. Police want you to see it with the hope someone can ID the shooter. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. The gunman killed a man in a room full of diners, including children, at the Hibachi Sushi Supreme Buffet on Crescent Street. Here's WBZ's Laura Hayfley. The terrifying and violent moments taking place inside of the restaurant. A person shot at close range, and it all happened right in front of a child. It happens fast as a child is crawling into a booth at a hibachi buffet with a full plate of food. A person wearing a hooded sweatshirt rounds the corner, pulls out a gun, and fires at the next table. The gunman disappears behind a blast blocking the camera's view while buffet guests scramble to safety. That child still alone. That's terrible. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you don't think anything you bring a child up for dinner and uh, you know, you don't think something like that's going to happen. Brockton neighbor John Monagle visits the Crescent Street Plaza and buffet often surprised by the violence. I've never felt unsafe here. But now police are on high alert. Parking patrol vehicles outside of Hibachi Sushi Supreme Buffet in Brockton still searching for the man officials say shot and ultimately killed his victim, 22-year-old Joe Arujo, in front of a full restaurant. So I have a guy come this morning to take a look at the cameras to see if they can find something. Jacqueline Macedo owns a Brazilian shop next door and says police asked for her surveillance video while investigating the area. We feel unsafe. Police tell WBZ it was a targeted attack and the public does not need to be concerned, but nearby store owners say they're taking precautions anyway. We start to close early. We have a lot of cameras in all the place. Law enforcement officials are asking anyone with any information to contact them immediately. In Brockton, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.